All right, folks, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now I'm going to learn a very pretty country song called the Tennessee Waltz. As usual, with these lessons, I'm going to play the entire song and then we'll go through it part by part. I'll break each part down note by note so that you're sure to get this. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's start by learning the first quarter of the tune. Okay, it's gonna start on D, open one, two, going up to A. Let's do that again. So in the song, that happens twice in a row. All right, let's move on. That's the first half of the first quarter. So let's move on to the next part of the first quarter. It starts A3. I'm going to kind of walk up to E, and on E we're going to go open 1-3. Here's that again. Then we kind of walk down. E1 open, then A3-1. Here it is again. Putting together the second part of the first quarter we have. Again. By the way, all left hand fingerings are in the description below, comments field below. Um, so now I'm going to put together the entire first quarter. Alright, so I want to pause and talk about something. This is a song. There, people sing it with their mouth and they make music with their mouth. So, point is, if you like to sing and you're learning something, singing will help you to learn this instrument, especially violin, something where you really have to depend on your ear because you have no frets. You know, it's not like a piano where you can always hit the note and it's always in tune. You really have to develop your ear. Singing is a great way to do it. Um, musicians in India, any, whenever they learn any instrument, they first learn to sing. So let's do that with this song. If you hate singing and you don't want to do it, you can try humming or whistling. And if all that you hate as well, then forget about this part and skip to the next part of the video. But I think it's, it's really worth your while to try to do this. So um, you've ju we've just learned to play it. Now you can sing. And so the, um, the first verse is, I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz. Okay, so now I want you to sing it and then play it. Okay, so if we were to do that, we're gonna start by 
singing it. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz. Now play it. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz. You have a higher voice. I, I was dancing. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee Waltz, and so on. And you can do that throughout the song. In order for, in the interest of time, and so that the lesson doesn't run super long, I'm not going to do that for every line. But I highly recommend you look up the lyrics and and really learn them and learn how to sing what you play. You can even sing and play things that aren't fiddle tunes, but I mean that aren't songs, things that are just purely fiddle tunes. You can sing those things, but we won't go into that now. We're going to move on and do the second quarter of the A part. Okay, so it's going to start on A, two, three, open. Then to D2. Then we're going to go A1 open, D2 1. So the first part of the second quarter, and then is putting it together. That's your second quarter. Third quarter is the same as the first. Now, if you took the time to sing it and play it and all that, you probably know it pretty well by now. All right, so um, let's just, I'm just gonna play it again to remind you. Third quarter, same as first. And now I'll play you the fourth quarter. So let's break that down. I'm on A, two, three, open. To D2. So it starts like the second quarter. And then it's gonna end with A, one, D3, D1, open. The first part of the first quarter again. And then, Together. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the B part. First quarter of the B part. Okay. So it's going to start A3, up to open E, 1, 3, okay? It's a lot like the end of the first quarter. So anyway, um, that's how we're going to start the first quarter of the B part. That's a long E. One, two, so it gets help for two beats. And then um, after that, to finish the first quarter, we're gonna do E1 open, and then A3, D3, A1 open. Play that. Adding the notes on the E string before that, one open. That again. First, first half of this first quarter of the B part. 
Okay, that's followed by. Let's put it all together. Here it is again. Okay, now let's do the second quarter of the B part. So it's going to start two notes on A3 to open A and then to D2. And then the second part of the second quarter is A1 open, D2 1. Second quarter, the entire second quarter again. Alright, now the third quarter of the B part is the same as the first and third quarters of the A part. I'm just going to play it again to remind you. Okay, the fourth quarter of the um, B part is a lot like the fourth and second quarters of the A part, but it's a little bit different, so here it is. So it starts the same as, those, as the uh, fourth quarter of the A part with two, three, open on A to D2. We're going to go back to A, one open, E, open E to A3. So that ending is, here it is again. Here's the whole fourth quarter. Alrighty, I'm now going to just play the entire thing a little bit more slowly and as usual with these lessons I'm going to encourage you to go to pause the video rewind and practice anything that you don't quite have yet before attempting to do the whole thing one two three one two And that's it. Congratulations on making it to the end of another lesson. Hope you enjoy this tune, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.